late 60s, the field of groundwater was really done by the USGS, and they did water flow, but not water contamination. And um, and they did all take could took care of all of the, the groundwater issues, but not contaminated groundwater. And we were just beginning to learn how we would lost chemicals into the groundwater, polluted major water supplies and things like this. And then they ad they advertised the um, the the EPA advertised the the opportunity to form the National Center for Groundwater Research. I do groundwater research, groundwater remediation. And that's, that's primarily my field. I started in surface waters, and we competed. I did my Bachelor of Science degree at New Mexico College of Agriculture and Mechanical Arts, now called New Mexico State University, in the agricultural sciences. And then I went to Cornell and got our PhD in applied microbiology. And, um, and then, uh, after, after that, I was a commissioned officer, and I went to the Air Force and was assigned to the predecessor to NASA, which was the School of Aerospace Medicine. And there, for three years, I built space life support systems for the programs that, uh, that many people know, like Skylab and things like this. They were called something different then. And then um, I interviewed um, for a position at, uh, at Rice University. And, um, and didn't really feel like that I, it was a position that I wanted, so I turned it down. And I continued as a civilian for the School of Aerospace Medicine. And Rice came back and offered me another job three years later. And eventually, uh, I uh, took the job and I went to Rice University in the Department of Chemical Engineering. They, the reason that Rice wanted me to come to, uh, to and join the School of Engineering is that um, there wasn't any life sciences of any kind in the School of Engineering at the time. And the people that uh, asked me to come there, um, Kenneth Pitcher, the former president of uh, Stanford University and things like this, and the chairman of the, the Department of Chemical Engineering. And there was one environmental engineering professor there. He was in civil. His name was Arthur W. Bush. and. Um, they, they wanted to, to expand the program, and, um, and, but the program really didn't exist. And there was just one person. And so I was given $10,000 a year in a building to build laboratories. And so I built laboratories one after the other until we finally got um, um, a, the facilities that was necessary for, to try to have a research program. <clears throat> and um, Bush was a sanitary engineer. And excuse me, and uh, and but he, he he was very interested in, in materials in the environment and things like this. So anyway, we started uh, hiring uh, people, um, some some of the very 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 good people like uh, Philip Bedient and and, uh, and Mason Thompson, an environmental chemist, and um, the uh, then Bush ran for Congress. There were, there were no engineers in Congress, the United States Congress at the time. He ran for Congress and went to bed believing that he was the new congressman and woke up and lost by a tenth of one percent. And then he became, the EPA was formed, and President Nixon, by the way, formed the EPA, perhaps for the wrong reason, but nevertheless he did. And he was divided into regions, and Arthur Bush, Art Bush became the regional administrator for Region 6 in Dallas. And then he never returned to Rice after that. He opened a consulting firm. Bush was really my mentor in environmental engineering. Uh, but he left very early and kind of left me alone to figure it out. And um, so my biggest challenge was very simple. Uh, building the facility that uh, was required to have a fledgling department, hiring really good people, convincing them to come to Rice. And um, because I really was, uh, I was really a provide microbiologist parading as an environmental engineer. And um, so uh, just an imposter really. And then I guess I became, became an environmental engineer in time. Um, so that was really the, the biggest, um, the challenges. And then uh, in early finding uh, the support for the, uh, the department, 
uh, I became chairman. I was chairman of the department for 22 years. And then after that, I became uh, the current originating director of the, the, the university's um, Energy and Environmental Systems Institute. And through the years, we competed for and won a number of major uh, research centers. And uh, graduate students um, have profited greatly from those. Thank you.